So in today's unboxing video, I do have a package from K-Town for you. Which I think was about $200 altogether. But I do have a lot in here, so it made it worth it for me. We have a lot of different comebacks in here. So we do have some pre-order benefits, and then all of our albums are right here. So I do have a good 10 albums in front of me, I believe, and I think these pre-order benefits are for Stacy's comeback. Cool. So we're, here we have the two pulls that I have for the We Need Love comeback. Honestly, this comeback exceeded my expectations. So first up, we have Stacy's third single album, We Need Love, and this is the Love and the Power version, so we'll start with the Love version first. So I'm just going to cut through the plastic on the top. But yeah, Stacy has been like coming out with amazing comebacks. But this comeback was a little bit different, like it was a little bit on the softer side instead of having like, um, like a big drop, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but this was a very refreshing comeback and it still sounded amazing. The girl sounds so good in the track. So we'll go ahead and look through the photo book, but I think it was Gentle Monster. It's such an amazing song. I love it so much. At first, it was kind of not my vibe just because I don't like um, softer songs that much. But I honestly, I think that genre or that type of song has been growing on me lately. So this song definitely grew on me. Like after only the second or third listen, I had then added it to my playlist for it. <laughs> But yeah, it sounds so good, and I know a lot of people have been praising this comeback, saying how it still sounds like Stacy. Because then I also ordered their album with Run To You, and for some reason, I never got into Run, Run To You until, like, recently, like, before this comeback came out, is when I finally got back into that, so then I pre-ordered this album and their last album at the same time. And then we have the CD back here. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. But yeah, the wording for the album name on the front cover, this is a little bit like puffed up. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is slightly puffed up from the rest of the album, so that makes it a little unique. Here we just have the little perfume fragrance card. It does smell really good. Next up we have the circle card and this is the member we pulled. And this is just what the back of the card looks like. Next up this is the photo card. So we have this member, Yoon. She's so gorgeous. I love her red hair this comeback. So next up we have the power version of this album. Sorry if you can hear my guinea pigs in the back, they are talking to each other. But yeah, in my next videos, basically from now on, you may hear them in the background just because they are very talkative. So this is what the cover looks like for this one, and same as the other one, the letters are slightly puffed up from the cover. This does look very cool. Oh, the Stacy part is also puffed up. But yeah, for this one, the pulls were put onto the same page while with the other version. 
they were put on separate pages, which I think I do prefer it being put on separate pages just because with there being a circle photo card and a regular photo card, sometimes there can be an imprint on them where the circle photo card will leave like a circular um, imprint onto the regular photo card. But I did just check and I think the photo cards are fine because there have been past albums that I've unboxed where the company does put it all together and it does end up damaging the photo cards, which is really sad to see. But for now, I think we're so good to go. But the girls just look so pretty. That music video was so relaxing to watch. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did based on like my first listen, but that's why. There are just some songs that do take a while to grow onto you, but for Stacy's comeback, it didn't take it that long. That's what the disc looks like. Very cute. Next up, we just have a, another fragrance card. I believe it's always the same Team Fresh fragrance, if I'm not wrong. For the Circle Photo card, this is the member we pulled so gorgeous and for the photo card this is the member i pulled very cute next up speaking of stacy's last comeback we have stacy's second mini album younglove.com and i believe this is the young version and this is the love version so we'll start off with the young version first unfortunately this package does come with the bag sticker situation here but i will try to peel off this sticker I just kind of peel it off in the back so actually won't be that hard then i know i'm pretty sure that's probably by accident but it made it easier for me so first up we have the disc here very pretty fits with the pink theme Alright, <laughs> and this is what the backing of it looks like. So let's go ahead and get into the photo book. But yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to get into Run To You because I really did like it whenever I first listened to it, but for some reason after the first listen, I just didn't listen to the track anymore. But then I did finally add it onto my playlist recently. Sorry, a car just went past, and then I thought this was a dent in the photo book, but it's just the background. But yeah, for some reason it took me so long to get into, but I finally started listening to it now. And then my nails are taking a break right now, because if you can tell like in the camera, they're pretty damaged from all the acrylics that I was getting. So I'm trying to take a break right now, but I'll probably get into it sooner or later. <laughs> I love these photos, the girls look so amazing. But yeah, I will just say I don't like the bag packaging that much just because yes, you had to deal with that pesky sticker, but also I was struggling to get off get this photo book out without like damaging any of the corners because where the little I don't know I call it like the ziplock part, like the part where you stick together to close the bag, that part, it kinda gets like it tugs onto the sides of the photo book as you're trying to get it out because it's like supposed to be a perfect fit for the album. So I do think that's a little annoying for whenever you want to pull out the album and look at it. You have to make sure you're carefully pulling it out of the bag because sometimes the sides of it do tug onto the corners of the album. But I did manage to get it out, so there is that. So we always have this fragrance card as usual, which I think is very interesting that I think it's Stacy that's been the only ones that done it that I've unboxed so far. So that's very fascinating to see. And then we also do have this little tattoo sheet, which I know a lot of people have been doing in their comebacks lately, is including one of these tattoo sheets. Next up, we have the random member poster. Ooh, okay. So this is the member I pulled. She's so gorgeous. Love her necklace here. For the first photo card, this is the member I pulled. Very pretty. 
And then for the AR card, this is the member I pulled. I love their outfits so much. And for the Polaroid card, this is the member I pulled. Now the thing is, like I mentioned in the last album that I was unboxing, that I don't like when companies put everything together because unfortunately it does damage some of the things if they're like different sizes so that's why I always like when the companies put everything on different pages as you can see in this Polaroid it does have some of the imprints of the photo card in it so that is devastating to see because this is such a beautiful Polaroid but then we have these lines going through it of course you're not going to see it if you're shining it if you're like not shining it in light but it's really sad to see when this can be avoided Next up, we have the love version with the black sticker up here. This is just what the packaging looks like. And I'll try to peel back the sticker. But yeah, the part that I was mentioning before, like this little Ziploc part where the bag closes and opens right here. This is what I mean. It does tug onto the album whenever you're trying to get it out. Up first, we do have the disc for this version, so this is what it looks like. If I can slide it back on to its thing. This is what the front and the back looks like. So this is what the outside of the photo book looks like. So we'll go ahead and go through it. Now I will mention something pretty interesting like the other Stacy album that I just unboxed of their recent comeback. One of the versions had all the inclusions like together on the same page and then the other had the inclusions on different pages. And for this version, all the inclusions were put in separate spots. Meanwhile with the um, young version, everything was put on the same page. So I don't know why the company did that. I don't know if it just depends on which person is packing the album or if it just depends on the version you're buying. I'm not really sure, but I will just say it is different. So if you, if I were to know that this version was the one that came with everything separately, I would be more inclined to buy this version if I were to only buy one. So I just wanted to let y'all know just in case y'all do plan on ordering it. This is from K-Town for you though, so it might be different distributions with other uh, places that you're buying from but I just wanted to mention that because I do find it a little bit odd <laughs> that it happened for like twice in a row now where just one of them came separately and one of them was together so here we do have the tattoo and the scent card again I believe it's the same as for both versions Next up, we have the random member folded poster. She looks so gorgeous in here. Very pretty. For the photo card, this is the member I pulled. So pretty. And for the AR card, this is the member I pulled. Love their accessories along with the gummy bear that was in like the other one. And for the Polaroid, this is the member I pulled. Now with this one, you can see that there aren't any markings or scratches on it, just because this one was put on a separate page. So that's why I do prefer it when companies do put their inclusions on separate pages, because then nothing gets damaged. Next up, we have Wanho's mini album volume three with version one, two, and three here. So we'll go ahead and start with version one. But yeah, I don't know what it is. For some reason, I haven't been hearing about Wanho's comebacks lately. Like, it's usually whenever I'm trying to buy another comeback. And then I happen to see that his album is also coming out. So then I did get this pretty late. Let me see if I can get the plastic off. I mean, it's probably my fault also just because I don't um, follow any of his channels or um, social media, so that might be also why I didn't know that he was having a comeback. But this is just what the 
album cover looks like, but all that matters is I did finally get it. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the photo book. It does have a little bend out sheet right here. For a second, I did think it was going to detach from the album, like it was just like a cover, but it is attached to the photo book. Honestly, the quality of the pictures are so good because it does kind of have that shiny um, paper. Which if you haven't known since, I don't think I've unboxed that many albums with these shiny paper in a while. But it is my favorite in photo books. Ooh, that paper did not come out that smooth. I think there was something like sticky, if you can see here. That was connecting the pages. That scared me so much, but... Oh my goodness. But yeah, I just prefer the paper on these a lot more just because I feel like it just elevates the picture, if that makes sense. Like I feel like the quality of the picture just looks better compared to matte paper. But I'm sure that these pages are a little bit more expensive to put in photo books than the matte paper. So that might be why we don't get them that often. But yeah, I feel like I'll just always get one of his comebacks. But to be fair, he hasn't been that high on my priority list lately. Just because a lot of other comebacks from other companies have been getting my interest more. I'm not sure what it is, but I will try to still keep getting his albums as long as I can. Because getting all these albums can be very expensive. Now is it for the photo book? We just have the tracks now. And then here we have the disc back here. I love this color by the way of this album. It looks so pretty. So here we just have the folded poster for this version. I don't know if they're randomized or not, but this is just the one here. Looks so good. Next up, we do have a damaged card here for this version. It already came like this from the album itself, which is a little sad, but that's okay. And next up for the bookmark, this is the one I got. Like I said, I don't know if they're different by versions, but this is just the one for this album. For the first photo card, this is the version I pulled. Because I know companies usually have like different photo cards for each version, but I'm not sure about the versions for this album. And for the second photo card, it's just the same suit but different pictures. It looks so good here. Next up we have version 2 of this album. Trying to find a good way to cut through this, but I feel like I may have cut through to the album. So this is just what the cover looks like on this version. So let's go ahead and look inside at the photo book. I love how clean these pictures look. Ooh, what is happening here with the silence, I guess? But, uh, he always finds a way to make everything look so good. Like, I love his says his accessories that his designers or stylists have given him. It looks so good on him. There's probably hidden minis in here, but honestly, I'm oblivious to know what the meanings mean because I haven't listened too much to this album yet. So I don't know if there's a storyline to this one or not. But I do love this royal concept right here, it looks so good. Yeah, unfortunately I haven't been listening to his comebacks too deeply that much. Just because there have been other comebacks that have been catching my eye. 
So I've been paying attention to those more. But this really is a sign for me to listen to his music more often because I really have been slacking. And that was it for the photo book. We just have the tracks and credits coming up. I will just say with this um, backing, it does leave an imprint onto this page though, so there is a line there. But this is what the CD for this version looks like. Here's the folded poster. Looks amazing. I love this color contact on him, it looks so good. And for the little card, this is the picture that I pulled. The royal concept, I love. And then this is the bookmark that I pulled. Very good. For the first photo card, this is the version I pulled. With the mask, they are a little bit creepy. Next up, we have this photo card that I pulled for this version. Very nice. I don't know the difference between the two photo cards, but this is just the version I pulled for this one. Next up, we have version three of this album. And so far, I don't think I've been able to pick a favorite. I might just pick the second one so far just because it does have that royal concept and I wish a lot more artists did have like royal concept. I don't know if it's like just pictures or in their actual comeback. But I feel like they just look so stunning in those comebacks. With that theme, if I can unbox this album. I swear I give myself anxiety just trying to open these albums up without ruining anything. So this is just what the outside of the photo book looks like. Oh, this one looks so fun. This looks like such a cute photo concept here. But yeah, I love how clean these photos look. Everything came out so nice. To be fair, he's always had pretty clean um, photos though for all of his albums. I don't know if it's just this glossy page is making me more biased, but I feel like all the pictures look so nice. Yeah, this one does seem to be the more um, casual photo book. And I love how he has all these other photo uh, photo cards of his past comebacks. That's so cute. With the little bunny or whatever mask this is. I honestly can't tell. I think it is. Yeah. That one is... I swear there's always something in his comeback that... It's a little frightening to look at, honestly. Because I remember there was something else in one of his last comebacks that threw me off, but I can't remember. I feel like it was like a clown, but honestly, I can't remember what it was. But there's always something. So that was the end for this photo book. But yeah, I feel like that one was the most casual out of all of them of all the versions for the folded poster this is the version i pulled it looks so clean here very nice for the photo card this is the version i pulled so cute for the bookmark this is the version i pulled with all the photo cards down here the first photo card this is the version i pulled he looks so cute that's so fun the last photo card this is the version i pulled i will just say this photo card does have a pretty significant crease in it because it was on the same page as the bookmark because unfortunately they have been putting like one of the photo cards in the bookmark together for the other two that came with the bookmark those didn't have that major of like a damage but this one is pretty major so next up we have Espa's second mini album girls 
And this is the Kwangya version and the real world version. So we're going to start with the Kwangya version first. It does have a little sticker on it, so I am going to try to match it with how it is on the plastic. This plastic does look like it might be a little hard to cut into though. Because I really don't want to damage the photo book. Okay, I was able to make a tear in it. I'm trying to see if I can save this sticker so I can put it back on. So let's go ahead and take a look at the photo book. You can kind of see like there's the, their little Aspa symbol right here in the back. That's textured. Man, yeah, I will just say there's been so many damages to things today because I will, like, I did just take out the photo cards and stuff, and one of the photo cards are pretty bent, but that's okay. The girls here look so gorgeous. But I did see the teasers for the photo books, and I will say it looks so interesting to look at. I think it's just with their um, concept in general, it's very interesting. So that's also why I want to get this comeback because. Like, it was very weird to pre-order something without knowing what you're getting. Since SM did kind of hide what this comeback was going to be for a while. I love her headphones. Or this accessory right here is so cute. But I did actually really enjoy this comeback. I wasn't expecting to just because they do kind of have that more experimental music. But I really did like girls. I did like that a lot. Like, I will say, I think it's in my top three songs now. Behind um, Savage and Black Mamba. Like, I still think Savage is my top. And then it'll be Black Mamba and then Girls. But I did really like it. I don't know what it is. But <laughs> this comeback I actually really enjoyed. And I will also just say, I wish their choreo did go a bit harder. Oh, this page is thicker. Oh, that looks so pretty with all of their um, accessories here. I don't know what to call them, but <laughs> that's so interesting to look at. And here we just have the disc. I wish their choreo did go a bit harder whenever the beat dropped, though, because I feel like without so much camera work, it does kind of look bland to look at the choreo alone. But other than that... I think this song is so cute. Oh, well, not cute, but it's so cool. I really did enjoy like listening to this album. Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot to take out. Unless it's connected to the album. I'm not quite sure, but it's a sticker sheet back there. I'm trying to go through these pages, but they are thinner back here. It's kind of like one of those magazine papers or newspapers. Yeah, I honestly cannot tell if this is stuck onto the album. I think it is. It kind of reminds me of, like those children's books that I would always try to get back then that kind of has the stickers with the photo or like the book itself so that even like the kids buy them. But I think it is stuck in there. So I'm just going to leave it before I damage something. But I think that's so cool. It's so interesting to look at. So here we have the folded poster. And we did pull Karina. Looks so cool with her little um, fist here. I can't remember what it was called, but looks so nice. And for the photo card, this is the member we pulled, Ning Ning's. And then this is the thicker photo card that I will show you what damaged my actual photo card was this card that damaged the other one. So for the main photo card, we did pull Karina's. And as you can see back here, you can see the imprint of the other photo card for Ning Ning's. It did damage this one, which is a little sad to see, but it is kind of on the back, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. So next up, we have the real world version. Real world, I swear. 
I keep mumbling it all together. I think I did manage to make a tear. If it'll open. And then for this version, I was going to also try to put on the sticker to the cover, but it actually already is on there. So that makes it easier for me. And then this is what the outside of the photo book looks like. So fun. I love it so much. Yeah, I do wish that choreo went harder. I feel like whenever the beat drop, it be like the beat drop is so hard that I feel like there should have been like a harder choreo for it, but I do also appreciate their vocals because I know they are more like a vocal group, like a lot of SM artists are. So I will give them that because Winter's High Note at the end is so good and Ning Ning's vocals throughout like all the songs are so amazing. And then Karina and Giselle's rap, is, they just sound so good together, like I don't know what it is. Oh, I love these little effects. It makes it so cute. Yeah, this photo um, book version is so cute. And they have their little um, AIs. I don't know what they're called. I really love this version. I think this one is my favorite, but the other version was very cool to look at. All these little Polaroid pictures over here. And this is the thicker page. Whoa, this is what the disc looks like. Very cool. That was very fun. Um, slide this back in. Just have all the girls together. They look so cute. Sorry, I do struggle to flip these pages over because it is thinner. So I'm afraid of ripping it if I'm too harsh on it. Credits. And then our little sticker sheet again. I think it might be the same as the other one. Very nice. The poster. Ooh, we pulled Giselle. I can put this down. Very cool. A Polaroid, we did also pull Giselle. I love how her name's on the top here. That's so cool. But it is damaged from the other photo card, which is a little unfortunate. I'm so sad about how there's so many damages today. And for our photo card, we pulled Winter. I'm so happy I pulled all the girls today. That's so cool. She's so gorgeous. Last but not least, I did pull Chung Ha's second studio album, Bare and Rare, part one. So I'm very excited because I feel like there's probably going to be a part two with the way that this sounds. And I've just been waiting for Miss Chung Ha's comeback ever since her Currencia and Killing Me albums. Because she's always been putting out bops after bops. Like, she's never had a comeback that has failed in my eyes. I love how big this photo book is. This is the largest photo book that we're unboxing today. Oh, if I can get this plastic off. And then her logo is imprinted up here. It does kind of have that soft matte feeling for the cover. And the plastic is just struggling to come off. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outside cover. It does look so nice and sleek. And then this is imprinted like the outside rims are higher than the inside picture, so there is some texture there as well. Oof, that did sound pretty bad. It's just the spine cracking on down here. But yeah, I was just so excited for this comeback. Sparkling is such a refreshing song to listen to and it's definitely like a summer song because it kind of had like a mermaid theme for the music video from what I can tell 
but my favorite songs on this album are XXXX and Goodnight My Princess. I heard that Goodnight My Princess is dedicated to her mom if I'm not wrong. So I think that's so cute. But yeah, I think XXXX is definitely like a lot of her past comebacks, so that why that's why it is my favorite song on the album, I will say. And I hope we might get a music video for that one, I'm not sure. Or even Goodnight My Princess, I hope we might have a music video for that one. Because I swear, if I see Chunha in this royal concept, I would simply just die. I feel like she would fit it so well. I also just love royal comebacks, so that's maybe why I'm trying to push for it so much. But yeah, this album was amazing. I love her hair. It looks so good. Well, I don't know what's happening here because of how blurry it is, but... I love it. her styling so much, like her stylist has never done her wrong. But yeah, I was just waiting for her comeback for so long. Like I know she came out with Killing Me in between these two, but I was just waiting for like an album. I'm so sorry that these cars keep passing by. It's always on my street, I swear. Here we just have the track. So yes, this track, this opening track, is my favorite song out of this entire album. And then Goodnight My Princess is my other favorite. Also, I just love how versatile Chung Ha is, and she always shows it off. So pretty. Here we just have the CD disc for this album, very pretty. And then here we just have the clear photo card, I believe is the same. I believe everyone gets this in the album if I'm not wrong. And then next we have this folded poster, or well, not a folded poster, a mini poster, my bad. She looks gorgeous. For the first photo card, this is the version I pulled. She looks so sleek and elegant, I swear. Gorgeous. For the next photo card, this is the version I pulled. Now there is kind of some damage, I don't know. I can show it properly, but there's like this little cut right here because unfortunately all the inclusions were on the same page. So we do have more damages coming up. For our next photo card, this is the version I pulled. And there's also damages on this one. If you can see. Yeah, that's kind of sad. I didn't expect for there to be so many damages, but I am happy with all these inclusions that come with Chungha's album. It's so good. And then here we have a Polaroid. You make me sparkle, so cute. But yeah, this inclusion also has some damages if I can find it on camera. But the damages are down here, if you can see some of these lines. I think it's like on both sides on the bottom here if I can hit it right like down here and then over here there's two little damages but it's not that big of a deal she looks stunning I love the little hearts up here too but this was everything for this month's unboxing I did try to fit everything to the best of my ability but we just do have so many albums and so many things that we pulled but I hope that you enjoyed this month's video and I'll see you in my next video bye